Number 21, Hokkien noodle or Hokkien mee. This is one of those staple diet I grew up with, although in Singapore it's slightly different, but I still enjoy it. Let's go. So this Hokkien Mee comes from a restaurant called Ko Bar or Colonial Bar. It's quite near my place. Um, but anyway, let's just start with a simple sketch of uh, the noodle. You're not going to sketch every single you know, strand of noodle there. It's just too much work. I'll show you how I hack this. Uh, it's something you can do for spaghetti or any other sort of noodley uh, sketch if you like. Uh, you kind of give some indication of uh, the prawns, the meat, the vegetable, but other than that, the rest are just random, you know, lines of strands of noodle, and uh, you can kind of fake it in that sense. The first thing I did was to put the green color just to uh, make sure I put in uh, the color of the plate, leave a whole chunk of uh, white highlight as you can see. We will soften that highlight later on. Uh, once that dry, I put in uh, a dark for the background um, and uh, I run out of color, which is a mistake. You should always mix more than what you need, but anyway. Uh, and that color is a little bit more bluish, add a bit of red, and kind of hopefully that blends well. And then I use water to wash down the other side, just to indicate one side dark, one side lighter. And then the next thing I did was to mix a uh, noodly color in this case is a uh, queen burn orange with a bit of lemon yellow thrown in and I randomly draw squiggles of noodles all over uh, and leaving a whole bunch of white in the process um, not referring to the photograph anymore I'm just drawing it and uh, just you know make sure that it is believable right after all uh, what you need is believable noodle and you'll be pretty much done and uh, Use a variety of uh, brown if you like because you don't really want them to be uniform across the board because if you look at a photograph, they are not uniform in color either, variation of brown. And at this point, there are all kinds of, uh, you know, uh, stuff thrown in by the chef. There's prawns, there's meats, there's vegetable and so on and so forth. So I kind of use a little bit more reddish uh, color to symbolize the meat and the vegetable just to differentiate from the brown. Um, artistic license I suppose that's not reality <laughs> but it doesn't matter anyway it's a postcard size sketch right uh, you really don't need to go down and make it a realistic uh, or realism sketch it's impossible well at least not with the tools that I have right here uh, you know it's a little bit too blunt um, too big a brush if I want to make it realistic um, anyway uh, make sure you use lots of water uh, and it's uh, diluted where it needs to be for the metallic part, the spoon and the fork, uh, remember to use tiny shape. Um, use mixed grey so that the greys are beautiful, darken contrast between white and the grey, uh, obvious because of the reflective nature of metal. Uh, and then I use a dark mix and that is uh, essentially uh, permanent alizarin crimson, dash of phthalo, phthalo green and queen burn orange. That dark mix becomes the base or the sauce and I uh, put that color down in between the noodles and between the meat and prawn and so on and so forth right just to sort of give it the background of the noodle if you like uh, a little bit darker than actually in the photograph but it doesn't matter because I just want to make it sort of pop then I use the same color and I make a shadow part underneath the plate as well as underneath uh, the uh, spoon and uh, fork so far so good the noodles are popping up nicely uh, i'm looking at the plate and i notice there's actually a little bit more shadows and there are other all sorts of shadowy parts um, basically carving three dimensions out of the little tiny bits and bobs in there uh, making things pop if you like and uh, you know it's just basic stuff a little bit of shadow underneath the fork a little bit of uh, shadow on the left hand side where the plates are you know um, covered with a bit of uh, shade and uh, yeah, and then I go in with white, uh, my sort of uh, pigment white, and then draw in all the highlights that I've lost in the process of putting in shadow. And uh, I'm actually quite generous with the white and it's not quite reality, but it should make all the noodles and all the ingredients pop, uh, if you like, just to separate the shape 
in that sense. Uh, nothing extraordinary, nothing very difficult and complex. Um, and uh, yeah, in this case, I kind of overdo it. And as you can see, I left a whole bunch of paper white uh, as well. And I think that's fine because, you know, if you look um, at the sketch later on, it will still work quite well. And uh, again, it's not realism. So it's just some kind of a representation of noodles and, uh, you know, gravy and the reflection. I use the same white to write my name uh, because I think, you know, because of the dark, I put a date, uh, 2021, August 15 a square around it just for uh, design purpose and then I go in to soften the highlights of the plate and I think I'm done. So I hope you enjoyed this sketch, very simple uh, and uh, very easy. Stay safe wherever you are. This is We Take Out.